Hey plant gang, I'm here in front of Picea abies, the Norway spruce. This is a great evergreen conifer, a gymnosperm for a lot of gardens in North America because its, it's hardiness really ranges from zones three all the way through seven, maybe even into eight, uh, depending on where you plant it in the hotter zones. So it can take a variety of conditions. And in fact, as spruces go, uh, things in the genus Picea, uh, this is one of our most heat tolerant uh, plants that we can grow. Uh, you can see I'm standing next to the cones. It's very, very typical conifer like cones on this plant. Uh, but also look how the branches weep down, a beautiful pendulous habit uh, that adds a lot to the landscape. There are several different cultivars. There are gold cultivars of this plant. There are weeping cultivars of this plant. There's ones that have striking blue foliage as well. Uh, so a great plant can get quite large. Uh, sometimes you see uh, uh, some of the Christmas trees that are used in big plazas like Rockefeller Plaza in New York. Uh, they might have a Picea abies as one of those large, uh, large trees that is brought in depending on the year. Uh, so beautiful tree. We're going to talk a little bit more about it, but one you should know. Picea abies, the Norway spruce. This is an evergreen. It has stiff, sharply pointed needles uh, that are quite distinct. Uh, on the new growth, you might notice the orangish color to new growth and really the beautiful contrast between the dark green needles and that orangish new growth which is quite beautiful. The stem actually has a little bit of an orangish color to it. Long pendulous cones, long pendulous branches uh, that add beauty and interest to this tree as well. 40 to 60 foot high can get bigger than that up to 100 foot tall, 25 to 30 foot high. Now I've never seen one in uh, Tennessee the southeastern United States reached the heights that it would in a little bit cooler climates. Uh, it really does benefit by being in cooler climates. I think in particular because you get a little uh, break at night from heat and humidity to give that tree a rest and really spur on growth. Hardy from zones 3B all the way up to 7, maybe even a soft zone 8. Can have problems with spider mites and some different galls, but you just need to watch out for that, in particular when the tree is young. Here's a landscape tip. The pendulous branches of this spruce give a lazy appearance. 